We first heard of the PAL-V flying car last April, when the Dutch company showed off a scale model of the Liberty in Monaco. The Liberty is the company's three-wheeled gyroplane. Well, this week, attendees at the Geneva Motor Show had a chance to see the real deal, and it did not disappoint. Unlike the Switchblade from last week, the Liberty is no kit car. The company has the first two-seat production model on display. The car has a retractable propeller mounted on the back that is driven by two engines. A large rotor that also retracts is mounted to the roof to stabilize the vehicle. According to the company, the transition from car to plane takes about 10 minutes. Capable of 105 miles per hour on the road, 110 miles per hour in the air, the PAL-V has a range of 310 miles in the air on a single tank of regular unleaded. But it's going to cost you to the tune of $615,000. The company's first production run is only gonna be about 90 vehicles. You will still need a pilot's license and an airstrip to fly. Unlike vertical takeoff and landing aircraft currently in development, the Liberty needs 100 to 650 feet of airstrip to fly. The company does believe that as flying cars become more mainstream, small airstrips will begin to pop up all over the globe. The company is now going through the final stages of certifying the Liberty for the road in the air. But the company didn't give a timeline for when the first production model will actually hit the streets. Found that groove. Based out of Los Angeles, California, 3D Hybrid is the company behind the world's largest metal 3D printer. Well now, the company may make metal 3D printers obsolete with new hybrid manufacturing processes. Hybrid manufacturing is a new term for processes that combine traditional additive and subtractive manufacturing techniques. 3D Hybrid created three new patent pending tools that allow you to 3D print metal on existing CNC machines using directed electrical, optical, and kinetic energy. The line includes the wire arc additive manufacturing tool, the laser metal deposition tool, and the cold spray tool. The wire arc tool uses dip transfer technology and proprietary methods for hybrid manufacturing. You can see in the video as the tool is used to build the part in conjunction with subtractive tools that clean it up as it's being built. According to the company, the tool is 50 times faster than selective laser melting and a more effective option for alloys that are reflective to laser wavelengths. The laser tool enables a variety of feedstock options, from wire to blending powder materials for gradients and custom alloy generation. And the cold spray tool is a solution for printing alloys with high thermal conductivity. The new tools could have a profound impact on the industry, particularly the aerospace, automotive, oil and gas and industrial sectors but it really could be of interest to any company with a CNC machine that is contemplating the cost of 3D printers. Found that rude. About 10 years ago, the Flyak turned heads when the kayak with hydrofoils first lifted out of the water and flew above the surface. Once the rider got going about six miles per hour, the foils propelled the hull above the water. I'm surprised that it took 10 years, but Inata Marine has taken the technique and applied it to a luxury yacht. The foiler is a hybrid diesel electric yacht with a retractable hydrofoil system that lifts the yacht five feet above the water. According to New Atlas, the foiler has two 320 horsepower BMW engines that power a pair of generators used by two electric torpedo engines that drive the boat, which is important because the foiler needs to build up a little more speed before it can fly. The vessel has to reach 19 miles per hour before the foils deploy, but once it's out of the water, it can reach up to 46 miles per hour. The four hydrofoils actually make for a much smoother ride as the yacht cruises through the chop. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.